attacking really our back. yes from the tourism industry hey guys so well we are here at Batamu Beach and I have Mara with me so what are we gonna do here actually today we are going to celebrate this day by having a beach cleanup along the marine protected park within our beach Yes, and Myra works for the Batamo Marina Association, so I'm gonna explain you later what that is. Let's do it for the ocean. You see this, all of this. This is just a lot, a lot of fish. Watamu <laughs> Recycling <laughs> Center. <laughs> All right, so let's walk in. Oopsie. Let me just fix it. Yeah. Wow, look at this. This is a lot of plastic. Wow. So we started this place to be able to tap all the recyclable waste, both from the marine litter washing up on our beach and from the tourism industry and through that create employment for the local communities working in this project as well as reduce the amount of waste on our beach so that's saving our marine life and that's what we like yes so now yeah. walk with me through our garden of waste so we have plastic bottles over there garden of waste i like that <laughs> we have glass related waste on this part till the back of the compound we have fishing related gears on oh. that very corner over there fishing related gear so over there we find fishing nets so actually we need to get Nafi here so they can collect it and brace net can make new brace nets out of it right so as you can see we have so many wine bottles and PET water bottles and these ones come mostly from the tourism industry within Watamu so what we do with them is we use the glass bottles for construction work as building blocks that's how it looks like it's really beautiful I would love that it's so colorful it's not that boring like a white ball wall or something like that it's just really really nice yeah. construction work yes the term that we use actually is upcycling we use waste in construction of buildings you can also get creative and make your door from glass bottles as well as your floor the possibilities of what one can do with waste are endless that's amazing i really like that yep. and i actually see here some cans as well so what are you doing with this well, with this we sell them to companies that deal with scrap metals. In here in Kenya it's a big industry known as the Juakali. They make, uh, say for instance, uh, cooking stoves from this. Cooking stove? Yes, and even sculptures from recycled metal. With the aluminium related waste, we sell this to companies that make iron roofs. So your aluminium can in return becomes your roof. So cool! <laughs> I really love that and it's so much waste and this is pretty much actually a business for you guys right yes because what we're trying to show people is waste has value and uh, we are hoping that they would pick the idea and run with it and use waste as a resource in most of their production processes great on top of that you also do organic farming right yes <laughs> uh, say for instance for our garden we use 
cow dung as a source of fertilizer. <laughs> it's very full of nutrients. And in some cases, we also use chicken, chicken poo, because it's really rich in nutrients. But chicken poo is so small, right? You need it in plenty for that. <laughs> as an insecticide for our garden, we tend to use uh, the water vapor that we collect during the process of making the biochar. So that's what we spray on our garden and since it smells like smoke, it deters insects from attacking really our yes, <laughs> it does insects insects from attacking our crops. And as you can see, to raise the bed for our garden, we use glass bottles. Here we go, glass bottles. And it's also possible for everyone to replicate this, right? Yes, it's a it's a it's a system that can be replicated pretty much anywhere. Yes. Wow! So now the collected beach uh, trash is here at the Eco World and they're trying to figure out how much plastic it is and it seems to be a lot. We have collected 368 kilos of plastic just today at the beach and that's amazing. Woohoo! What other people are doing behind us, Myra? Tell me. Well, once we've done our beach cleanup, all that waste gets here and the Sort it out so that we can recycle it. Awesome! But what is actually happening with the plastic after they sort it? Uh, so from there we shred it and then we sell it to companies that make products from plastic and the money we get, we plow it back into the projects to pay the waste collectors and the recyclers. Oh wow, so that's a circular economy, right? Yes, that is a circular economy. That's amazing! What is the plan for the future? Well, for the future we are hoping to be able to use all the plastic waste that we get and make them into building construction materials, that is. And yeah, a good example is this. That looks nice and it's entirely made out of plastic. No, it's made with using plastic and building sand, a ratio of 50-50. 50-50, alright. This is heavy and it feels like a stone, so I can imagine that you can build a house out of that. Yes, yes it is and it helps to also clean the environment at the same time. We love it! <laughs> Mara, this is an amazing place and I wish you all the best for the future. I Thank hope you me. grow and you can teach a lot of children and students about this. And um, thank you for taking me around. I have a little present for you, oh, obviously. Thank you so much, this <laughs> is awesome. That's a bracelet, obviously. <gasps> so now we can kind of be... Um, can join the team of bracelet. Yes, so now we are bracelet buddies. So yeah, this. <laughs> this. And this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>